All right, 7.7, .7, uh, Foundations of Math 20. Uh, this lesson is a very exciting lesson. We are learning about the quadratic formula. And some of you have seen this formula before, perhaps. And let me explain when this formula is to be used. Okay, so I'll just get you guys just to be quiet and listen. Even though you, some of you have seen this before, uh, just, uh, just listen, uh, listen up as we talk about this. So quadratic formula obviously is used for quadratic uh, equations. When we want to solve quadratic equations, we can use the quadratic formula. It's a special formula, and I will teach you a special song later that will help you remember this quadratic formula. But first of all, let's just discuss really briefly why it's used, and when it's used, and how it's used. Okay? So leading up to this point in chapter 7, we have solved quadratic equations a variety of ways. Right? We've solved by factoring. We've solved by graphing. Okay? And so those are important. One of the other shortcuts that we can use is using this special formula that's been uh, developed for us. And if you realize uh, you know, how to use this formula, it, it'll make your life a little bit easier when it comes to you know, solving. So take a look over here. Okay, These two equations right here are the same parabola. They're written in two different ways. Okay, So we've got uh, standard form here, it looks like, and we've got uh, vertex graphing form. Now, from uh, each of these forms, different things can be, uh, different characteristics of the graph can be known. This is vertex form, right? So we have, uh, we have a vertex of negative 3, negative 32. That's the coordinates of the vertex here. We know that it opens upward. We know that it's a little narrower than normal, and, uh, and so on. So from here, we don't know what the vertex is just offhand, but we know how it opens and stuff like that, because here's A. Now, from this right here, we can figure out some shortcuts to other characteristics. And the, the one thing we're going to focus on today is how to find the roots or the solutions. Okay? So, um, let's just skip here. Now, here's the quadratic formula. So, I'm going to get you to uh, write down this formula. Got to get rid of this graph here. Pull that into the notes. So, the quadratic formula is a formula that is used okay to determine the roots of a quadratic equation so where we have ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero and of course where a isn't, isn't zero it's a quadratic this formula can be used if we can identify a b and c all right then here is the formula and maybe what i'll do is i'll just enlarge this just a little bit here i have to use this pointer. Okay. <clears throat> so the formula is, looks like this. The x, now this is, represents the solutions to the quadratic equation, equals, and here is this complicated formula. It's negative b, okay, so whatever your b value is in this form, you plug that number in there and you, and you multiply by negative 1. So whatever b is, it's negative b. And then um, sometimes when we're talking about parabolas, right, Sometimes there are two solutions. See that? One here and one here as the x-intercepts. So we account for that by saying you know, what we're going to do is we're going to plus or minus this value right here. And so what's going to happen is it's going to be a, you know, a, some value here you know, plus to get this one and minus to get this one. So that, that's kind of how they account for the possibility of two solutions. So this is the plus or minus the square root of b, the same b value, squared, minus 4 times a times c. Okay? And this is called the discriminant in here. The discriminant. And I think we'll talk a little bit more about uh, that later. The discriminant. Uh, this is a special part of this formula uh, that we can basically check to see if there are any solutions at all. Because as you, as you realize, there may not be any solutions if we have a problem that looks something like that, right? If it doesn't hit the x-axis, there are no solutions. So how can we quickly determine that without you know, doing this whole calculation? That comes from this discriminant in here, and I'll talk to you a little bit about that a little bit later. Okay, um, so all over 2 times a. Okay, so that's our disc discriminant, and that's our quadratic formula. So let's just, let, I just want to show you how this works, and just we'll just confirm that this works. Okay, so let's do something pretty simple. Let's, let's do um, something like, uh, 
Uh, give me a second. So let's keep going here with the formula. Uh, negative 8 plus or minus. Now, can we do all this uh, in our heads here? Let's see. This is going to be root of what? 64 minus, what is this? This is going to be minus, well, minus a negative, so it's going to be adding. 8 times 5 is 40. So it's going to be 64 plus 40. Okay, does that make sense? So what's that? 104? Okay, did I do that right? You guys in agreement there? Okay, so if you can do that in your head uh, or whatever, just do that in your calculator, whatever you want to do. Now, 104 is not a perfect square number, is it? So this is, this is where we're going to realize that we are going to have two roots, plus or minus here, two roots that are going to be irrational. And in order to write this in the exact form, we're going to need the square root in the answer. So this, this is how this works now. Can we, um, can we reduce uh, root 104? Can we reduce 104? So is there a square, a perfect square that's a factor of 104? So what you'd want to see here is that this is actually root uh, 4 times 26. See that? And so in order to reduce this, you want to bring that root 4 out as a 2. So this is going to be negative 8 plus or minus 2 root 26 over 4. So we see that in each term there's a common factor of 2, so I can take a 2 out of all of that. So this is going to be negative 4 plus or minus root 26 over 2. And then my two answers then are negative 4 plus root 26 over 2 and negative 4 minus root 26 over 2. And yes, you could uh, reduce this 4 over 2 and make this two terms, but this is going to be just fine. Okay, So one single term here. Um, those are your two uh, solutions. Okay, Those are your two roots. And just to confirm that, what I want you guys to do, I'm going to graph this, and we're going to just check that. And what I want you to do is to get on your calculators, and I want you to give me uh, decimal forms of each of these numbers. Okay. So just figure the decimal forms out, and if we're all in agreement, uh, I will graph it, and we'll just confirm to make sure this works. Okay, so the reason why these are exact numbers is because in decimal form, this, this decimal keeps going on forever, so we have to stop it somewhere. We have to truncate it. We have to round it, so it's not exact anymore. Now it's, now it's approximate. Okay, so these are now approximate answers. So that's why these are preferable in math a lot of times. But again, that's going to be more of a pre-calculus thing. Um, you won't need, if you stay with foundations, you won't be dealing too much more with this. But let's just check to see, you know, I've graphed it over here, and let's check to see what our intercepts are. And look at that. Negative 4.55 and 0.55. So those would be um, the same answers that we got here with the quadratic formula. All right. Okay, you guys ready for the quadratic formula song? All right. So I'm going to play you this song here. I'm going to get this song up here. I'm going to play you this song. And I promise you <laughs> this will be in your head for more time than you wish it to be. All right. So here is the video. Uh, it's me back in my days when I lost my razor. Uh, see how this works here with volume and stuff. So here's the quadratic formula song. Hey everybody, it's Mr. Mathwell here for another Mr. Mathwell song. And this one is creatively titled The Quadratic Formula Song. If you're playing awake at night and you have an annoying song running through your head, well. Well. <laughs> Turn the computer around. Oh. Okay, what's going on here? Yeah, I know it's frozen. Why? Just restart it. Enter a new annoying song for you. But you'll never forget it. Like this. X C equals negative B plus or minus root B squared minus four A C all over two A. Now that's 
that pretty good, eh? Huh? X equals negative B plus or minus root B squared minus 4 and all over 2A. Equals negative b plus or minus root b squared minus four is equal all over two. It's all over two a. How do you do that? Here we go. X equals negative b plus or minus root b squared minus four is equal all over two a. Negative b plus or minus root b squared minus 4 and c all over 2a. X equals negative b plus or minus root b squared minus 4 and c all over 2a. X equals negative b plus or minus root b squared minus 4 and c all over 2a. X equals negative b plus or minus root b squared minus 4 and c all over 2a. I said it all over to A. Over time was over all. Over to A. That's right, it's all over to A. It's X minus. So it's a minus. Wait. You guys. All right. Yes, don't you need to be learning new things. All right, we can watch more videos later. We don't need to be watching more videos now. Oh, big announcement. Okay, maybe after the lesson. All right, so there you go. That song is uh, now annoying and in your head, hopefully. 7.7, uh, .7, here's the uh, assignment for today. And I'll just show you a little of the textbook in case you need to, to see those questions. There's the in summary. Okay, class, uh, you can get started on your uh, homework. Yeah, I know. I know it's frozen. I'm just doing this for the video, not for you guys. You guys have the textbook. You're not recording. Yes, I am. I'm recording. That's frozen. Is this going to be in the video? Mind blown. Are we in the video? No. You're not in the video, just me. Because it's all about me. Wait, so they can't hear our faces? They can't hear your faces? Is that what you just said? They can't hear your faces? No, faces generally cannot be heard. Faces can be seen, not heard. <laughs> Are you going to lose it? No, I'm so sorry. Okay, here's your optional 13 one. 13, do it. So great. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>